Okay, in this video, we are going to explore how to do remote development using NeoBeam. Now, with VS Code, uh, there is a um, plugin to uh, do remote development and also use dev containers. But I wanted to, to use something similar um, inside NeoBeam. And we are going to explore a concrete case, which is the one I'm interested, which is when you spawn a, a Docker container and you want to mm, get inside the container and inspect the file tree. And the, let's say we want to open a file and, and see some logs. Now, in order to do it, I found this amazing plugin, which is called Remote Embeam. And the idea is that it will install NeoBeam inside the container and will copy over your NeoBeam config, config files to the container. So when you mm, spawn and, well, let's say when you attach to a running container, then it spawns a NeoBeam uh, process listening on a specific port. And then from, from the client, from your local system, you can attach to the, to the remote process. The idea of, of client and server connection inside NeoBeam, it's well explained here in this video of TJ but we will see it in action. Here in the configura configuration section, we can see it, this plugin supports offline mode. We will try to explain it a little bit. And it allows you to specify uh, from your NeoBeam config files, which folders or directories you want to copy over to the Docker container. You can also specify a client callback to open a terminal and attach to the um, NeoBeam server instance. Now, we are going to see it in action. If I run Docker PS, there is no um, Docker conti <coughs> container running. And if I run this app D, this is just an alias for Docker Compose. Okay, now I have uh, Docker containers running. And we are going to use, well, let's inspect it first. Okay, now I'm going to use remote start, which is a command exposed by this plugin. And then uh, the plugin offers several functionalities. We are especially focused on the attach to running container. Here, there is a list of all the running containers. Now I'm going to select auth service. And here we will see how the plugins, the plugin is going to install NeoBeam and it will prompt to, to copy my local NeoBeam configuration to the to the container. Now it's copying the all the files to the container. And once it's copied, they will prompt you to to launch local NeoBeam client. I will say yes. And in my client callback, I, I'm just printing the the port that is listening on the container, which we can see it's it's this one. Now if we copy it and we create another pane and then we execute NeoBeam server and we attach to this port, then what we will see is now we are using our NeoBeam config um, to explore the file tree of the operating system. 
we can see it by moving to etc os release and you can see we are in a Debian um, operate, operating system and if I open a terminal with again my key maps from my Neobin config uh, we spawn a, a bus terminal now this is interesting because with all my default key maps in Neobin I can move from the file tree of the container and I can inspect all the files and all the logs and to see if there is some error in the container. Now we will see uh, the configuration of the plugin. It's basically in this file remote.lua and here we are specifying the um, the copy dears configuration for NeoBeam, the data and the cache and the state and also the client callback here I am currently just printing the port in which NeoBeam is listening but here you could for example if you are using Tmux, you can create a new window and send the keys to attach to the to the container as we did before, but pro programmatically. And that's basically what I wanted to show in this video, because I find it quite um, useful, and you have you don't have to install NeoBeam yourself in the container. The plugin um, handles it. And also about offline mode, you can enable it in order for the plugin to not connect to the internet. Inside the container, you might not have access to internet. So the way it works, it is plain in the repository, but basically the idea is that you are going to place in the cache folder of NeoBeam, which we find in .cache. Here inside mbeam, we will see that we have uh, the source code for NeoBeam. And then when we attach to the container, it doesn't go through the internet, but it gets the source NeoBeam code from our local system. So I hope you understood everything. And if you want me to dig a little deeper let me know in the comments bye